In this video, we're going to talk about how to subtract decimals from whole numbers. So let's begin with the first example. We have 4 minus 0.2. 4, we can write that as 4.0, and 0.2 is just 0 0.2. The first number goes on top, the second number goes on the bottom, and typically the first number when you're subtracting is usually the large number, otherwise you'll get a negative result. Now let's subtract top minus bottom. 0 minus 2 will give us a negative number, so we can't really do that. What we need to do is borrow a 1 from the 4. The 4 turns into a 3, and then when we transfer the 1 to the 0, that becomes 10. 10 minus 2 is 8, and 3 minus 0 is 3. So the answer is going to be 3.8. Now let's do the same thing for the next example. So 12 minus 3.7. The 7 is in the tenths place, so we're going to add 1 zero to the 12 in the tenths place. Now 0 minus 7 will give us negative 7, so we don't want to do that. We want to borrow a 1 from the 2. The 2 will become a 1. The 0 will become a 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. Now, we can't really do 1 minus 3, so we need to borrow a, a 1 from here. That turns into a 0. This becomes 11. 11 minus 3 is 8. And so we have 8.3 as the answer. Go ahead and try these two examples. 7 minus 0.36 and then 36 minus 8.32. So notice that this number goes to the hundreds place or the hundredth place. So we need to add two zeros to the seven because that two, we want to have enough zeros where it ends up in the hundredth place. So this is going to be 7.00 minus 0.36. In other words, we want to make sure we have enough zeros to line up with these numbers. So how can we do this problem? Zero minus six will give us a negative number. And we can't really borrow anything from this zero. So we need to borrow from left to right from the seven. If we take a one from the seven, that will become a six. That one will transfer to this zero, making it a 10. But this zero needs a one. So we're gonna borrow a one from the 10, making that a nine. And this zero becomes a 10. 10 minus six is four. Nine minus three is 6, and 6 minus 0 is 6. Therefore, the answer is 6.64. And you could confirm that with a calculator. Now, for the next one, 36, we're going to write that as 36.00. And let's subtract that by 8.32. So we need to borrow a 1 from the 6. That will be a 5, and this 0 will turn to a 10. Now, we also need to borrow a 1 from the 10, making that a 9, and this 0 becomes a 10. So 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 3 is 6. We can't really subtract 5 by 8, so we're going to borrow a 1 from the 3. That becomes a 2, and then we'll put a 1 on a 5. So now we have 15 minus 8, which is 7. 2 minus nothing, or you could put a 0 here if you want. 2 minus 0 is 2. Either case, the answer is 27.68.